So these are the seat adjustment that you can control when you're a rear passenger or even when you're the driver. So it controls the passenger seat. So let's say whoever was sitting here before they have the seat way too far back and you want more leg room in the back seat here, you can by pressing on this switch. So you can tilt it forward and up. So this should be a quick install, take no longer than 30 minutes or less. You do need to pry this piece up, this front foot well, but before you can do all that, you have to pry this cover off first, then this cover, and then this piece comes up as one hole. But you can do that by lifting up these rubber trim here. Just like that. This is fairly easy. And you don't have to take off the whole rubber piece. You can just start with the rubber trim and then pry the side panel open here. And this one comes right out. And there's a little clip back here as well. Once you have that clip pop open, just place everything on the dash. And this should all come up. So you pull this back, pull this back, and then up. And then that's it. So now you have access to the wiring. You run the wires through there. And it's really just a connection. Plug this in. And then you reroute this as a T. So you basically wire splitting it, but you're not splitting any wires. It's just a loop. And we'll show you how to do that right now. All right, got the wires untangled. Before you unplug this, go ahead and power down your display. So go to control, go to safety, power off. So now everything should shut off in about two minutes. So that will not disrupt your computer, so it doesn't mess things up. So wait about two minutes. The lights in the cabin should turn off and then you can go ahead and pull this up. Okay, up next, this is probably the hardest part. This is screw a Torque 20 facing this way, facing towards the camera. I mean, they provide you with the, the wrench but of course you can use your own. So I have here, this one is more user friendly. So it's a small wrench that I can tuck in there and just ratchet out versus using their tool. And then just hand untighten it. It's basically this tiny screw here, Torque 20. And then once you unbolt that, you can reach in to this computer module. It's actually located right there. There's a plug. You can see the wires right there. Pull that plug out and then attach it to the handshell plug. So plug this into that Tesla module right there. You do the loop with that one. Okay, this is the front foot well on the right hand side of the passenger. Once you power off, go ahead and unplug this. Pull this out. Plug the handshell plug in. And then plug it into the handshell U loop plug. And that's it. So you just tuck this away. And then the final step is connect this computer module. So we're gonna hide it in between this cover here and put everything back. Okay, first put this trim back.
Okay, to turn the car back on, you just wiggle a door handle and it will turn back on. Now just move your seat back. And now you can control it. Forward, backwards, up, down with the tilt. And where they suggest you place this is actually on the side of the passenger seat. Just like in many other vehicle um, where you can control the seat, especially if you have the larger multimedia display like this one, it doesn't have that controller. So you place this on this side right here. So I'm just wiping it down with the wet wipes that they provide in the kit. And then just dry it with their dry wipe. So wet, dry. Okay, so let it dry for about 30 seconds using the 3M adhesive they provide you. Okay, so let's say you're in the back seat and you're like, okay, this is not enough space. I need more leg room back here. You just, and then tilt forward. And you can also give more leg room by pushing this all the way forward. And look, large amount of foot space, leg room. Great for Uber, great for when you're the driver and you just want to move the seat back a little bit. Let's say somebody who sat here put the seat too far forward and you can't see the mirror or you just want to move it back for your next passenger in the front. You can do that here. Again, from Hand Show, fairly affordable. Use our code and it's under 100 bucks. Example, if I'm the driver and I want to move this seat forward for the rear passenger, I can just push right here instead of reaching all the way over, which I can't. So I can control the seat by pushing on this switch here.